Hey everybody! Hi! It's us again, Carissa and Carmina and little Fiona. And little Fiona. And here we are again. We're doing our live for the week, Cocoa Therapy. And um, this today we're going to talk about cleaning your dogs and cats first. Yeah. Uh, but before we start, I wanted to say that um, for some but, bizarre reason, and I don't know if you you um hey there's nate hey nate hi nate oh we can see it yeah oh. last week when we did the oil pulling one we couldn't see who was watching we couldn't see any of the comments and there's a lot of questions so this time i went into facebook a different way i was using um was a facebook manager and i think that's not a good way i don't know how people do it do lives but anyway if you guys have any tips you can you can tell us so yeah yeah hey. hi so, nate okay so okay so this week, um, we had some questions about cleaning uh, dogs and their cat's ears with coconut oil. And I actually got um, an email from a customer and she started cleaning her dog's ears with coconut oil and she said her dogs love it. And what was interesting to me in her, her um, email was she said she used to clean her dog's ears with apple cider vinegar. So she said she would get apple cider vinegar and a dropper and put it in in the dog's ears and her dog would fight and she her dog hated it she would shake the head and she just dreaded it and then when she did it with coconut oil and i swear she said this she would put the dropper in and the dog would just lay down and be completely relaxed so maybe there's something very soothing and coating about the oil i think the vinegar is a little bit acidic so maybe it was hurting yeah. and then what was kind of funny yeah. is she said that maybe didn't like the smell yeah because she's it's got a really strong well, smell well you know she said the apple cider vinegar she goes now my dog doesn't smell like um salad dressing <laughs> so it's kind of funny like yeasty salad dressing yeah so now she just loves it so it was interesting to me because she said she puts the coconut oil in the dog's ears with a dropper so to, and i thought why but i think it's she wanted to put the liquid so she probably melted flow. it yeah, she melted it. Yeah. So we thought, and then she wanted to know how we clean our dog's ears. So that's, that was, that's a number one question we get about yeah. that. And there's another story too, when we, um, and this happened at a trade show, there was this one guy that um, one of our customers, he said that he had a Cocker Spaniel that had constantly inflamed and um, stinky, stinky ears. Stinky ears, it was a Cocker Spaniel. And he um, said, that his dog was constantly on and off antibiotics and mm -hmm. all kinds and it just couldn't get resolved so we told him to just try using our cocoa therapy coconut oil to clean his dog's ears and he did and it actually yeah. um, cleared up the infection he was able to get his dog off of antibiotics so um, we've had heard a lot of success stories about that and I think it's because coconut oil is definitely and everybody knows this you guys all know this it's antibacterial it's antifungal and it, it kills, kills yeast mites. and bacteria <laughs> and um, so it's great for your ears yeah. for, for so why don't ears. we show them that we can talk a little little bit about why it's good okay and stuff okay so I am going to clean Fiona's ears I've never cleaned her ears before so hopefully she doesn't scream like a baby some dogs do is she gonna scream Carmina and she won't she's pretty good about okay. it so what I do is and everybody's different so I'm gonna show how I clean and then Carmina's gonna show how she cleans her cat's ears so or do you want to flip it so what I do here yeah where okay. where okay. it's right there oh it changes so what I have here is, so I always have coconut oil, and what I do is I get a little bit and I put it in the spoon. So you don't have to melt it. Some people say melt the oil and put it in the eardrops. And I'll tell you, you know what? I kind of have a phobia of stuff being dropped into my ears. I, when I was a kid and we would swim, remember we used to go swimming, Carmina, and we'd yeah. get these ear infections and stuff. We'd swim in these lakes yeah. and our ears would ache. Yeah. So my mom would put uh, like liquid I don't know what eardrops in it mm -hmm. and then I would get and I would feel like I was drowning yep. seriously the eardrops would go in my ears and then I couldn't hear for an entire day or two then I'd be like ah so now I have a kind of phobia about putting drops or liquid in an animal's ears I feel like are they gonna feel like they're drowning or something so this is the way I do it so I have coconut oil here and all I do is get a whole bunch like this I do this Wait. with my cats okay so you can see I get a good, decent amount of coconut oil on the Q-tip. And then, so then I apply it on Fiona's ears. So as she runs away, 
Like I said, I've never cleaned ears. You gotta clean ears. your ears. Fiona has nice, big, clean ears. So you gently hold the ears. And then I apply the coconut in there. See? You should have had a light. Yeah. Well, it's a, can you see, Carmina? Are you against the light? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So... Well, it is see, kind of against the light, but... Well, you can see the ears. So as yeah. long as, as soon as the coconut oil touches her ears, it's already melted. So you don't see. even have to warm the, it and put it in the dropper and drop it in. Because I think the very feeling of the liquid going inside the ear, the dog will automatically want to shake. You can, I mean, shake her ears or her head, and you can already see. So what I do is, after that, so it's in, it's melted, then I slowly clean. Fiona's... And you know, just, just to make sure, when you're using Q-tips on your dog's ear or cat's ears, don't go digging it in really deep. So what I do is clean all the little crevices, though. Yeah, see? where I mean, you can, can are you showing see, it? Yeah. She's, you well, know, when you know, I clean... Tickly, yeah. so that's why they shake. When I clean ears. my my cat Sebastian's ears, he's purring the entire time. But So the, I will go inside a little bit, and then I just twist. Yeah. And then you could Good see. Good girl, Fiona. Good That's girl. I don't go too deep. And the the Q-tips will stop. Well, her ears are really clean. They're really clean. So Her ears the, are very clean. The reason why coconut oil is such a good ear cleaner, then I will flip it. This one does not have oil. And then I kind of clean off the residue. So the reason why coconut oil is so good is, first of all, if a dog or cat has gets ear mites, and it's usually the little black thing. Can you see? Yeah. See how good it is? She's used to it already. Mm -hmm. So the, if they have ear mites, the coconut oil smothers it to death. So I'll get a clean one, do the same thing. Can you see? I don't want to let Fiona go. She's going to run away. And she won't. So you get a bunch of coconut so oil like, like that. That's, a, that's quite a bit, but mm -hmm. that's, you know, it doesn't matter because it's going to absorb yeah. in the ear. So I go. And any that goes down the ear canal is actually yeah. not going to be harmful. Yeah. And when the dog shakes their ear, all the ear wax just kind of loosens up, actually. Mm -hmm. And, so you there. know, gets loosened up and brought to the surface. Mm -hmm. So, see, I put it in there. And then I basically just massage this ear. Yeah, massage the oil around. So, if there's any ear wax that's hardened or crusty, then it'll be softened and loosened up with mm -hmm. the coconut oil. And, um, and the coconut oil is very soothing. So, if the ears are inflamed mm -hmm. and if it's... Um, you know, red and like what Carissa said, it kills the ear mites too. It suffocates the little boogers. Yeah. And then if she's got bacteria, coconut oil kills bacteria. Yeah. And the lauric yeast. acid kills bacteria and um, the caprylic acid is antifungal, which kills yeast. <laughs> a lot of dogs, like if her. you see the black, thick earwax gunk, a lot of that is yeast. See, so just cl gently clean it, Fiona. Clean it upwards and outwards. Fiona, what big ears you have. She's got my, she's got giant bat ears. <laughs> she's so cute. So there. So then I flipped now, it already to the clean side without the oil, and then I'm basically wiping it all off. See? See, it's very melted already, so you don't even have to put it in a dropper and drop it. Yeah. And I guess if they do that, yeah. I mean... Um, Cindy was making a point. She said she... She used a make pad. A what? Instead, much safer. A makeup pad? Makeup pad, Cindy? But, um, so that's a good point. Um, I also use cotton, there. like the cotton so that's rounds. So I think that's what Cindy means, like this, right? So you can use that as well. Now, Fiona's got really tiny ears. Yeah. So in order to get into the little teeny crevices... Um, and like, again, like I said, don't dig in a dog's ears. Make sure you're only wiping the visible part that you see. Yeah. You know, all those little I do this. crooks and crannies in so the ears. I it. So we're done with Fiona. All I, then I get one of these pads so how, like, just to clean are. out the, um, see? And then Fiona, other side. Unfold her ears. And then I do the same thing. Just so it's not Oh, so, so makeup dribbly. pads. Okay, I get it. Nate uses makeup pads too. Oh, okay. So I, yeah. Yeah, that's see? good. And then, you know, if you have a, you know, dog with giant big ears like Fiona was teeny tiny like I was saying oh so that's why ears. Um, that's why oh okay. you're so pretty Girl. so that's it you're so see pretty. how easy so I just wipe it so it's not too greasy and but, you know and people ask us um how often do you clean a dog's ears actually that's um so you're done Fiona you're done let me flip it so um th the answer to that question is how often do you clean a dog's ears it really depends on the dog because some dogs um, are naturally waxy and oily and they you need to clean their ears every day or they're just prone to especially dogs that are you know the breed naturally 
is a, a water sporting dog, like golden retrievers or cocker spaniels. They tend to have a lot of waxy buildup. Or if they get in water. Yeah, right? yeah. But like Fiona, I literally clean her ears once a month. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. And it's it's not necessary. You know, your ears, your ears, your skin has a natural yeast, yeah, a microbiome. So um, hers you is perfectly fine. But I have two cats. Okay, for Sebastian, I have to clean his ears every day really i kid you not yeah, yeah. because yeah. he's just a goopy old boy and he just gets yucky ears whereas my other cat scarlet she's a girl so she her ears are <laughs> pristine <laughs> that's not right sebastian's a boy so he's kind of like boy icky. ears so let's icky let's show ears. how to clean a cat okay ears. i'll show you how to clean my cat's so ears. Fiona, you're free she's okay. free to go so okay carmina is around. now going to show how to clean the cat's ears and, and he's really it here sleeping. There is, here is Ollie. Ollie. He's a good boy. Okay. So now, Ollie, meanwhile, he's got very goopy ears. He is a very waxy beast, and <laughs> he has a lot of ear wax. So for, for Ollie, I actually clean his ears every day, believe it or not, mm -hmm. every single day. Hi, Cindy. She, she's and, watching. Um, so what I cool. do is, okay, again, we got these... Q-tips here, we got the coconut oil, and we have the pads, right? And Fiona wants to get in the way and eat Fiona. Fiona. So what I do is pretty much is what I do meanwhile, because he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of earwax. Well, let's start with his ear. Like he's got a lot of earwax and, and that's very natural for him. I don't know if you could see it. So I, on, you know, I clean his ears every day but it still gets earwax and gunky he's also an older cat maybe that's why i don't know so okay. what i do for him is i take coconut oil with my finger okay right that okay. much if fiona wants to eat it fiona don't eat it no fiona and then i just put it in his ear like so and then i just massage it in you know and it will instantly melt that's why Crazy and I don't melt the oil and stick it with a dropper. Um, it's extra stuff. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, I feel like it is. Kind of so the, the minute out. I put the oil, I kind of massage it all over this his ear flap, just right there. It moisturizes it, and then and I slowly, the in a circular motion, massage it like this, so it goes inside his ear. And it's melted. Sometimes you can hear the squishy noise in it, but you know, <laughs> squishy, noise. Yeah, squishy noise. And then, and if he shakes his ear, that's fine. You actually want them to shake their ear because then it makes the debris come out. Then I get the, the the makeup pads, like what Cindy and Nate use, and see all that oil that's just melted. And actually, when he shook his his um ears, just came flying out there. So I just use it, and I kind of like wipe his ear. And he loves it. He has this scratchy little tail, scratchy. Little, his little foot. Is it tickly? It's tickly. He tickly. See? Ew, gross. Hmm. Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. So you see all that gunky see? stuff. See? Well, it's that? not that bad. It's not that bad. Because Sebastian's I, ears are I clean actually his ears worse. Every day. Then, I mean, then oh. I get a Q-tip, and then if you could see closely here, I never dig inside. I just go around the crevices. And he's very it 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 tickles him. See, he tickles. Sebastian does the he's same so thing. He's so tickly. See, and then I just go in there and I just kind of go around. My cat vet, Doctor Watson, I love him. He was the one who taught he us how to do this too. You, the, the ears are like in a curve. See, look like at all that. Shape. I know this is gross, but look at all that. But Carmina, Doctor Watson said that if you put the Q-tips in the ears, you really can't go that deep. The eardrums are deeper in. I'm always a little bit nervous about eardrums, but he goes, it's so deep and it's kind of an L, L shape, shape. You won't hit it. Like the ears, the ear canal goes down this way and then it goes that way, like a letter L. So, and then the, the eardrum is that way. So it's not like you're going to puncture it by doing this. So look how dirty it is. See? Ew, gross. I know. Okay. And then, so I just get the, the a tissue and I wipe off the excess. And if there's any left in there, it's fine. Actually, it... It, you know, it's actually soothing the inflammation. And when he, when he clicks his face like that, mm -hmm. you know, it Good actually, boy. it's not bad for him. Do the other one. And now. then like I get, so again, I get a glob. So as you can see, Chris and I do it different ways. Get like a glob on my finger, just like that. If you want to stop, don't leak it. 
and then I put a whole bunch inside his ear. Massage it, put it on the ear flaps. Massage it all over his ear. I'm getting relaxed just watching it. And then <laughs> just massage it slowly, like, you know, in a circular motion so that that melts and mm -hmm. goes inside the ear Cindy canal. Cindy says she uses coconut oil on their noses to stop the dryness. Oh, that's it's a good really idea. Good. Just put coconut oil in your well nose. There you go. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And I put it on their feet pads too. Yeah. So there, so pads. now his ears are all moisturized and nice. Mm -hmm. And then I get this, another, a brand, oh wait, not that one. This one, brand new makeup pad. I wipe off the excess, wipe, wipe, wipe. And he likes it. You know, he loves getting his ears clean. Some cats aren't this good, but he is so, look at that. See that? Now, if I did this without coconut oil, I wouldn't be able to get all this. And notice when he shook his ear, some of the black stuff you know, actually came out. The wax flying stuff out. comes flying out. Ew. And then you just wipe it. Fiona, don't block the way, baby. Okay, so there. See that? Yuck. Eek! Eek! Fiona, yeah, no. don't. <laughs> Look, Fiona no. wants some earwax. Okay, so, okay, so then you get um, a Q-tip, a clean Q-tip. And you do the then same you get the thing. Little crevices. You just get the crevices. You know, make sure you can see what you're doing. And then, you know, I, I go a little bit in here. Oh, and then he it it actually tickles him. That's why he he's like, always grooming. I think it makes him groom himself. Yeah. Ew. Ooh, see that? Yeah. That's you know that's the coconut oil mixed into the earwax that made it soft and pliable and you can get it out of there really good yeah so like Carmina see, said see oh, see this see that stuff here that's some of the earwax that, that came, came out, out when from he shook his when head. he shook his head so you can just wipe it off and like Carmina said some animals like Fiona's her ears are pristine I you don't have to clean them every day and yeah. like my scarlet kitty but some oh, uh -huh. if Oscar's a boy Sebastian's a boy they're or so that he needs um, ear cleaning as well. So the boys always do. <laughs> That's there it is. Oh, it's, so it's clean. So I get another one just to make sure. Good boy, and Ollie. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And then you just do this, and, and that's good. That's it. That's really it. And I kind of do it until the the cotton butt. Oh wow! Look at that. It really gets a lot of that gunk. Yeah, out, it really it? does. Because you know, if you if I skip the coconut oil, I seriously don't get this much wax out because it's probably dry and crusty. Plus, it's probably uncomfortable because you know, if the coconut, if the ear wax is, and that's it. So that's it. You're a good boy. See You're a good boy. So that's it. I hope that helps. But I think that if you use coconut oil, it actually not only cleans and kills bacteria and the fungi, it actually mm -hmm. soothes the ear. Mm -hmm. So it actually, it's really And, and it good smells for them. so much better if you have a dog that kind of smells like musty and goopy. Yeah. That's our word for it. We always call it goopy ears. Yeah. Um, the oil really makes it smell really sweet. Yeah, it does. So before, I, I used to have a Cocker Spaniel mm. that had cons, boy. yeah, and he had chronic ear infections i you know because i don't know if it was just the breed mm -hmm. but constantly i had he had chronic ear infections and if it wasn't for the coconut oil i mean i don't want to use antibiotics on him all the time yeah and you know any of that drops that him. chemical stuff mm -hmm. and i felt like if i would use um some of the ear cleansers over the counter or apple cider vinegar or, or some of that stuff it may be good once or twice but if you have chronic dirty ears and using it all the time just made his ears just angry and red mm -hmm. and it just made it worse so i felt i just felt like coconut oil was just a really better the best a better thing mm -hmm. come here Fiona. so that's about it and so thank you guys for watching Thanks for watching um so you can try it. it's very easy they actually love it and we'll see you again next week have a great night great love you guys bye bye